I'm a regular middle schooler. I go to swim practice and soccer, and I like drawing characters from cartoon shows or from like books or movies. But what's going on in like the world? You want art to just make a statement. For the New York Times political cartoon contest, I drew a Syrian girl and an American girl. It's a reflection of how, depending on where you're born, can influence your entire life. I think politics can sometimes have little regard for the people that they're impacting. Your silence is deafening and suppressing. I, but young, fill the void with a scream to tell you that I will fight. Donald Trump, he got away with insulting women and Latinos. I was upset because I really wanted to see a, a woman president. Um, and I was sort of happy because I wanted to be the first woman president. <laughs> I was little, but um, I remember bits and pieces of President Obama's election as I grew up. It was a hopeful time to have a president who looked like me. And then it's very concerning to have a president who doesn't really like you. Um, because you're a girl or you're um, a minority. The Women's March in Oakland. I went with my Nana, my mom, and my brother, and it was really powerful to know that I was a part of it in a bigger way. I haven't done something like this before, so it was like my first time getting placed in a magazine or anything with other artists because it's Women's History Month. I want to capture women who fought for something and made an impact on the world. I think more women are stepping into positions of power. Women have more of a voice than they did, say, 100 years ago or even 50 years ago. Hopefully, in my lifetime, there'll be a woman president.